We welcome you inside our studios here in Atlanta. It is Inside the NBA. The crunch time for the playoffs. Casey Stern in for EJ. He is with his wife, Cheryl, being honored tonight, and rightfully so, for all her great work over the years in the fight against sex trafficking. So congratulations to Great Cheryl. work, Cheryl. Great work. And to EJ, and uh, of course, you know uh, our birthday boy, Shaq, who had his on Tuesday. Jet, happy birthday, sir. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Yes. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You, you could have gave me the night off, but that's all right. Why are you saying you're welcome when I wished him a happy birthday? Uh, yeah, well, I'm saying he's welcome. <laughs> we could have gave him that. Welcome. You didn't give me anything. You saw that, right? Yeah, I told No, you. this is three years old that you gave me. I told you what he got. Hey. Gave me a three year old watch. I told you what he got. <laughs> right? Yeah. Remember what I told oh, you? Oh, yeah. I know. I know. Hey. All right. <laughs> Let's get to the highlights. I appreciate the, the gift y'all gave me. Nothing. Yeah, we didn't get anything. Not about it. We got you a gift coming, but yeah, okay. not. Well, don't. why don't you tell him, Chuck? Uh, Flashback. Last week on the second, the roll of the ankle. Watch with Steph. Oh. Gets Atlanta leaving the game. It's been something that's been recurring throughout the course of the year. Maybe we fast can. forward to tonight. Maybe you should get some Nikes. Get rid of, get rid of the no, flyers. No, knock it off, off. man. Come on. That's fired. Some things are like PL Flyers. Yeah. Left the game here. What's speak up, right PL Flyers? Angle again. As far as like these cheap tennis shoes back in the day. Oh, you they mean, actually uh, still make buddies. them. Buddies? You mean buddies? Oh. <laughs> Step 0 for 1 from the floor. No, no, I'm kidding. Did not return. Buddies. More on that in a minute. They in the meantime, feel fine. no look to who's buddies. this guy? JaVale McGee. a dollar and you know, you little buddy. Rejects. <laughs> we call them rejects. <laughs> buddies. Oh, man. Kyle oh. Anderson finds Bertans for the slam. 34-31 Golden State, and then it's Bertans, Bertans. KD going the other way. The Spurs do a better job. The entertainment team oh. oh. drafting guys people never heard of and making them into good NBA players. Lee was four at the break. People heard of him. They, then more from he's not even the guy with no name. He's not even a household name in his own household. So. Oh, knock it. JaVale the slam, lead 156-55, and it's Marcus Aldridge. Well, I, I think the one thing that the Spurs, they are one of the few teams that still play inside out. Well, some of these other teams should start doing it. Well, San Antonio would end the quarter, guys, 9-0 oh. run. Ooh, ooh. 87-78. And then it was all about KD, unstoppable Kenny here in the floor. First of all, Chuck, is, come on, man. This is just bad defense. You can't let this guy score 16 straight points. That's just stupid. So, Chuck, hey. you're telling me with Kawhi, they can't take these, these guys or Rockets to the Well, remember that Steph Curry was out of this game as well. That's correct. And he, he, he creates the pace that they play at. That makes it even a little bit easier. Oh, my. Jate Murray slammed, gave him an eight-point lead, Kenny. And then uh, after the timeout, it was KD time. 14 straight points for the Dubs here. But Come then on, again, man. they didn't have Paul Gasol either. Paul Gasol, so. You know. Oh, now you're comparing them to? No, I'm just saying that he does make a difference, bro. Yeah, you're right, Trey. You got to get the ball out of his hand. You got to get fire. Let him just have, play it hard. Yeah, he's on fire. And not only Chuck, he's the only only scorer out there. Uh, and, uh, other than, and, and you can cheat off those other guys other than Clay yeah. Thompson. Watch this putback. Oh. Draymond gets it in. He had a triple double, guys. They're 22 and 0 in his career when he got shot those. Here. Bad shot. Bad shot. Yeah. yeah. You, you got you have uh, got a swaggy little, pee got on a little you. Little you, and you shoot a fadeaway. How about this though, play. Kenny? Look Bad how open switch. Forbes gets. Bad oh. Switch. Oh. That's a good look. Yeah. Oh. He oh. rushed it. Good luck. I, I, I never understood why. See, when, when that kind of situation, your numbers should be facing your basket, meaning that they would have to catch the ball inside the three. I don't know why you fa have your numbers facing their basket. And not only that, switch everything. 38 but you game, just have guys. their numbers facing your own basket. That means With they have to get assists. it. two seconds, switch everything. Despite yeah. missing Steph, uh, time now for the uh, three-point performance presented by our friends at JBL. You look at the worst three-point games this season, not bad when this team shoots Kenny as poorly as they did. They were one of 11 2 in the first half and still get to win this way. Well, they, they score multiple ways because, you know, they, they kill you with the three, but they don't rely on it, meaning that they, you know, have to make them. You know, they will get layups, they get defensive stops. They, they are a talented basketball team. They do more than one thing. The three point is just the dagger that really, you know, when you, when you get it to six, or you get it to three and they hit one of those, it kind of it, it deflates you. But at times, they can go without making it their steady diet because they get layups to the basket. Let's oh, talk about But you see the difference between this team and the Rockets. Could you imagine Steph didn't really play tonight at all? Can you imagine if the Rockets lost James Harden? They, 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 I don't think they'd get at the first round of the playoffs. That's the, this, this is what separates the Warriors from the rest of the NBA. None of those big three have to play well. 
Like Steph? Or play. Or, or, or play. <laughs> How about that? You know, I mean, think about it. They're not reliant on one guy. Like, James Harden is amazing. He's the MVP by a landslide. It's not even close. But he has to play great for the Rockets to win. And, and I don't know if he can beat them four times. He got to beat, he got to have four great games in a week and seven games. These guys didn't have, Clay, I, I ain't even looked at Clay's stats, but like, that's just what make the Rockets. Those big three guys, one of them can go off and win the game. Yeah, I want to look at in the timeline with Steph because let's talk about the ankle here because Kenny, you mentioned not having him in the game. Take a look at this, this courtesy of Anthony Slater does a great job covering his team. Sprayed on the fourth, then the tenth, the second, just a week ago, we showed this in Atlanta, the eighth. I mean, I know Shaq, we were going to say, okay, it's, it's nice to have the one seed, but it's important to have Steph healthy coming to the playoffs. You worry about the ankle now. Yeah, I worry about the ankle. You know, most of his ankle injuries have been freak injuries, like, like the player here tonight went to lay it up between two guys, stepped on somebody's foot, sprained his ankle. Steve Kerr is very smart. So, you know, if his ankle is sore going into the playoffs, they'll probably rest him. They'll probably clinch early. You know, he'll get some rest doing that, but I don't think this will affect him because, you know, when when he sprained his ankle tonight, I was looking at how he walked off the court. He was a little bit sore, but it, it's nothing like, you know, really, really serious. So, Dr. O'Neill speaks. He'll be fine. I, I want to go back to what you guys were talking about with the Spurs because clearly the big news yesterday was Kawhi finally talked, and they said, okay, kumbaya, everything's worked out. Regardless of what happened, Kenny, is there enough time to get him back where they can be a factor in well, the playoffs? Well, firstly, I would have been shocked if he was talking. If he was talking, then I would have been worried. What? Because if he, if he would have come at, that's out of character for him. He's not a guy who seeks the media. He doesn't social, you never see, we never put up tweets from Kawhi Leonard. You know, we, he doesn't get into that. So if he would have been talking about, hey, I'm not doing this and consistently getting attention, I'd have been like, oh, he's auditioning for somebody else. But I believe what he's saying because of that, because he stayed to me in character who he was. Now, it's going to be difficult, yes. But if he comes back, I think, with his six to seven games left in the NBA season, and then you get a seven-game series, and then you go into a deep seven, all of a sudden he's in rhythm. He, but, you know, I think the shorter that – if that they go paper, through – Please. The, really? Oh, this paper. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, you know, the standings. But I, I think if he goes through, you know, short series <laughs> – there you go. Did you know you're on you know, TV? No, no, no. Yeah. I, but, you uh, because I want to pick it back on, uh, when he finished talking. I want to say right, something. But we'll wait for you. It's but, fine. you know, the, that, but I, I get it. But like I said, the longer the series goes, actually, the better he will be. And because he will get more games under his belt be, because that's what he needs. You ready now? Yeah. Yes. The Spurs don't even have a home court right now. No. no, no team. They don't need it. No, yes, they do. They don't. They're, they're not, not in the first round. Well, they're series. not far out. Not in the first round. They're a game and a half out. Hey, they're not. They're not four out of nine either. It's true. <laughs> I mean, they actually could be nine if if they. But they're nine games over five hundred, and they're only five games over though. Yeah, yeah, but, I I, but I'm saying little, though, Kenny, if they that lose, is a little if they lose, receiving, you got to go on a five-game winning streak if you're Denver. To even catch them. Yeah, but I'm so. If, and if, the Spurs at the same time would have to go on a four game If the losing. Spurs lose two games, Kenny, they'll be the number nine seed. No, they won't because they They're still would have to win games. five. They ain't going to be number nine, you know that. But I'm, you don't. They still would have to go. Kawhi, they would have to go on a four game. When Kawhi come lose, back, there's no way they're going to be. Well, we don't know when Kawhi's coming back. Should Check. We, Kenny, a little they, no, they're not. Casey. <laughs> yes. They're not going to win three series in a row in the Western Conference oh, okay. on the road. Well, I, I agree with that. Okay. They're not going to uh, win they're not, three they're, in a row. They're no 90, 94, 95 Houston Rocket team. Can they win two? I'm just saying. Uh, no. <laughs> Here's the latest No, I don't think so because the second series will be on against Steph. the Warriors or the Rockets. Take a look. Uh, won't play in Portland, says Steve Kerr. So you're talking about being careful, Shaq. Got to be careful. You got to rest them up. And Why would you? You could never get the third. They're not going to ever get that. to the third seat. Not only that, Casey, you got to rub it with some icy hot. Man up, Steph Curry. Hold the state. All right, we'll they call the general. They're going to be, be back, first uh, second no matter what. Right. They'll never get the third, so why, why play it?